Hello, and welcome to Avcan's webinar on an introduction to Simple Step ELISA. Today's principal speaker is Russell Nooner, senior scientist at Avcan. Russell received his PhD in molecular and cellular biology from the University of Massachusetts. Joining Russell today will be Daniel Swartz, commercial manager at Avcan. I hope you enjoy this webinar, and I will now hand over to Russell, who will start. Thank you. Thanks, Lucy. Today I would like to introduce a brand new technology from ABCAM called the Simple Step ELISA. This technology provides improved and differentiated performance characteristics while still retaining the familiar process and standard data outputs of a traditional ELISA. A brief outline of today's webinar will focus on the following topics. An introduction to the Simple Step ELISA, key product features and assay performance characteristics, advantages over the traditional ELISA, various applications for the Simple Step ELISA in scientific research, and an example product that outlines all of the data and analysis. The term ELISA stands for enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. This laboratory technique is used to detect and quantitate a specific analyte from a complex mixture or solution. Compared to other immunoassay techniques, such as Western blotting, an ELISA provides better specificity and dynamic range. The most common type of ELISA is the sandwich ELISA, where two antibodies are used to measure a specific target protein in a biological sample such as human serum or cell culture extract. In a sandwich ELISA, an anti one antibody is immobilized to the bottom of every well in a microtiter plate. This antibody is called the capture antibody and upon sample incubation binds the target protein. An additional step incorporates a second antibody that can be labeled with a reporter enzyme such as horseradish peroxidase or HRP. This antibody is called the detector antibody and completes the sandwich ELISA. The simple step ELISA follows the exact same methodology and is based on the sandwich ELISA format. A simple step ELISA utilizes a capture antibody that is conjugated to an affinity tag and a detector antibody that is conjugated to HRP. Together, these two antibodies complete the sandwich ELISA. In order for the sandwich complex to remain bound to the microtiter plate, every well in a simple step ELISA is pre-coded with a highly specific anti-tag monoclonal antibody. This antibody binds to the affinity tag conjugated to the capture antibody and is essential for this technology. At this time, I would like to show a brief movie describing the Simple Step ELISA protocol. The Simple Step ELISA begins with removing the number of microtiter strips needed to set up your assay. As I previously mentioned, every well in a simple step ELISA is pre-coded with a highly specific anti-tag monoclonal antibody. To begin, add 50 microliter of the, of the protein standard or unknown sample to each well. Next, add 50 microliter of the antibody cocktail containing the capture antibody and detector antibody to each well. Incubate the simple step ELISA for one hour at room temperature with shaking to ensure thorough mixing of antibodies and analyte. During this incubation step, the antibodies bind to the target protein and simultaneously the sandwich complex is bound to the simple step microtiter plate. Following the one hour incubation, a single wash step removes the unbound analyte sample and antibody cocktail, leaving behind only the immobilized sandwich complex. Next, a detection reagent, also known as TMB, is added to every well and incubated for 10 minutes. Following the incubation, a stop solution is added to every well where color develops in proportion to the bound sandwich complex. 
To measure each signal, a simple step ELISA is read on a standard microplate spectrophotometer instrument at a 450 nanometer wavelength. Here is a summary of what I've described thus far, showing a direct side-by-side -side comparison of the simple step ELISA on the left to the traditional ELISA on the right. Each technique begins with assay setup or sample and reagent preparations. This typically takes about one hour, depending on the number of samples in an assay. Next is a one-hour incubation. In the traditional ELISA, this step is for the samples only and may take up to two hours depending on the manufacturer's instructions. In the simple step ELISA, this step is for the samples and antibody cocktail containing both capture and detector antibodies. After the one hour incubation, the simple step ELISA is ready to be washed, developed, and read on a spectrophotometer. The traditional ELISA is washed and the detector antibody is added for an additional one hour incubation. Most commercially available ELISA products on the market utilize a biotinylated detector antibody. This type of detector antibody requires an additional reporter incubation step. A common reporter for a biotinylated detector antibody is a streptavidin molecule conjugated to HRP. Therefore, an additional one hour incubation step is required for the, for the traditional ELISA. After the final one hour incubation, the traditional ELISA is ready to be washed, developed, and read on a spectrophotometer. In summary, a traditional ELISA can take up to four and a half hours of continuous bench time, while in comparison, the simple step ELISA can only takes about half the amount of bench time, or two and a half hours. The Simple Step ELISA technology has many great benefits for use in the lab. First, the Simple Step ELISA protocol is, as the name infers, simple. Additionally, the Simple Step ELISA has a shortened protocol time. Having reduced complexity and shorter assay duration allows for easier and faster data, data generation. The Simple Step ELISA retains the familiar process and standard data outputs of a traditional ELISA. This, this requires no special training or costly instrumentation. The liquid phase incubation kinetics of both the capture and detector antibody drives the assay to superior sensitivity. In addition, allowing both the capture and detector antibody to interact with the target analyte in solution imparts a more efficient binding process. This is compared to having an immobilized capture antibody in a microtiter plate common to the traditional ELISA. The simple step ELISA has a single incubation step and a single wash step. Having reduced the number of sample handling steps can lead to greater reproducibility and accuracy in an assay. And final, the simple step ELISA technology allows for concurrent parallel target analysis in a single microplate. The next section of this webinar will discuss ABCAM's multi-target simple step ELISA kits. Every simple step ELISA kit from ABCAM will contain the following reagents for use in your research. A simple step ELISA microplate capable of performing 96 tests. This arrives pre-coated with a highly specific monoclonal antibody a 5x cell extraction buffer. This is specially formulated for cell culture and tissue extraction samples. A concentrated 10x capture antibody and concentrated 10x detector antibody. 10x wash buffer for use in the single wash step. TMB detection reagent and stop solution. Additionally, every simple step ELISA will include a protein standard this is a highly purified protein used to generate a standard curve similar to the one shown on the right. Each standard curve is plotted using a four-parameter logistic nonlinear regression model. A protein standard is also very useful in an assay to measure or interpolate the amount of target analyte in an unknown sample. 
Every simple step ELISA will include a sample diluent. This is alternatively referred to as a standard diluent or calibrator diluent. A sample diluent is a specially formulated buffer that is optimized to correct for nonspecific interactions such as a matrix effect in an immunoassay. Simple step sample diluents generate maximum recovery of target analyte in a variety of sample types. As seen in the figure on the right, when compared to two other ELISA kits, simple step ELISA assays have near 100% recovery of target analyte across a five-point serial dilution.